Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Friday, the 12th of July, 2024. What a wild day. So today, on the first stream, on the podcast, uh, we had some news to cover, some topics to discuss, and then I installed a new Sanwa joystick inside of my Kanba Obsidian 2 with the intention that that is the stick that I was going to use moving forward. Had a fun podcast, had a full stream of Elden Ring, uh, Shadow of the Urge DLC, we explored a few extra areas I hadn't before. There was an optional uh, hippo guy to fight uh, to get a new Skadoochee fragment. And then we found a whole other dungeon that I had missed that was actually uh, significantly interesting because the boss was special. I forget what it was called, like Forlorn or something like that? No, something something different. I think it started with an L. But it was a very unique uh, boss fight of an enemy that was using a new status effect or something like that. That was really crazy. Um, so it was pretty fun. Then we went to the northwestern area of the map which is the kind of like the final area leading to the final dungeon. Uh, lots of open world exploration, lots of fun fights uh, with stuff in the environment. Two big boss fights. One was a secret boss fight that was a returning boss from the DLC, and I don't want to spoil what it was. It had a unique twist to it that made it harder than the first time. And the second boss was the major story boss at the end of that. I think her name is R Ramia, Ramina, Ramina, something like that. Ramino, Ramina. Um, but yeah, it was a great stream. Tons of progress. Good fun. I was using the great sword this time. Um, rather than, oh, damn, the great sword of damnation, uh, and a shield. Actually, I was trying to actually parry and I did, I was parrying a, a few enemies, which is really, really useful. Uh, another different bill, you know, instead of using the counterattack, I'm using parrying. It was pretty good. So overall a great stream, great fun. Then during the break, yes, it is true. A fan donated a Victrix. Pro FS stick to me. It's the most expensive fighting game stick on the market, I think. And it's insane. The thing has crazy features, glowing lights, bells, whistles out the butt, and it controlled great. I played it all night. I love it. I played casual play. I immediately got seven straight wins. And then I said, all right, let's go to rank. In ranked, it was literally hit or miss. Sometimes I won, sometimes I lost. Um, a lot of the losses, once again, dropped inputs. I'm having a lot of issue with wake up reversal. I'm trying to do it, and it keeps giving me standard drive impact, and then I get punished for it when I don't want it. Like, I never use drive impact. Almost never. And then it comes out when I want a fucking reversal. It sucks. Um, at once, I was doing a combo, and I did scissor, and it gave me head stomp. And I'm like, I know it's not the stick. It's a brand new stick. It's a top-of-the-line stick. It's the netcode. The, the inputs are so wonky with stupid rollback netcode that sometimes it'll just give you the wrong input. It's so dumb. So overall... I had a lot of casual play wins. Then I went to ranked, and I, I'm going to say I probably lost more than I won. But I actually played a couple people that were higher ranked than me and won. But then, of course, I played people who just did patterns, and they lo I lost. So I pretty much ended up with the same master points I started with. I think I gained like seven master points or something like that all night after playing. The good news is the test of the Victrix stick was amazing. It's super good, and I did an unboxing video. So if you want to see this Victrix in detail, including me testing out the lighting, lights and everything on it, which is crazy that it has these lights, uh, definitely check out that video here on the channel uh, overnight, all right? So, a full fun day of gameplay, good stuff. Tomorrow, we take a break from Street Fighter, thankfully. The first stream tomorrow will be the podcast, followed by Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. At this point, we're heading to the end. We're going to be right at the tail end of the game. So, I don't know if we'll beat it. I doubt it. But maybe we'll get through these this final dungeon area and see what's next um, and go from there. And then tomorrow night is Stardew Valley Chill on the late stream. I can't wait for that. You guys know I love Stardew Valley. And uh, we'll just see what happens then. But this is the most interactive, fun stream that I'm doing right now for a chill stream, for sure. So uh, that'll be neat. Um, Street Fighter will return on Monday. I I'm excited to play more with this joystick. It's really fun because the joystick is great. And I'm not really having much issue besides the netcode. But it's good. So hopefully I'll, I'll get better with Bison. All right, guys? That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.